What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Power is here from Geekazine, and today we're taking a look at this IK Multimedia iRig microamp right here. Next on Geekazine. Welcome to Geekazine. My name is Jeffrey Powers, www.geekazine.com. And I take a look at all the cool tech, including music tech, because I'm a musician. And we're taking a look at this thing right here. It's IK Multimedia iRig Microamp. Of course, uh, as you know, I, like I said, I play music myself. You know, as a musician, we have to practice, and sometimes we can't find the place to practice, especially when we want to really kind of grunge it up, make it sound really powerful. Because, you know, you just can't always play without that crunch, without those effects, because sometimes those effects really help in expressing yourself and expressing what you're trying to do uh, so you can practice, so you can do it in front of the crowds and, and make lots of money and lots of fame and notoriety. And that's where a, a product like the iRig Microamp really comes into play. Uh, it competes, it's not really meant for onstage performance. It's meant for practicing. It's meant for getting in the backyard and just kind of showing your friends what you can do type thing. Similar to the pig nose of many, many years ago, the really compact uh, portable amp. Uh, this one is very similar. It runs on uh, several AA batteries or up to a 15 watt power supply. It gives you three options, a clean tone, a semi-clean tone and a lead tone. And of course, dials for gain and, and treble, mid and bass to really uh, bring in your, your tone. You can use a four inch speaker that's inside of here, which uh, is, is okay. It's not the greatest thing to listen through, but it's great for practice. Or you can plug in a set of headphones uh, through the amp. You could also bring in an audio source like a CD or, a, or an MP3 player or maybe your iPhone or something like that. And then, uh, and then have the music pass through while you're playing. So it's perfect for practicing. But the real power is when you do plug it into your iPhone, your iOS device, your, your, your tablet, your Android device uh, in some cases, or your computer uh, through the adjoining cable and using the AmpliTube app or, the, or whatever software you use to really model your amps after. You can really start to make some sound out of this for your practice time, uh, for your small playing, buskering time, and, and stuff like that. It's a, it's a perfect little amp for that. Now, it does convert to 24-bit, and it does have a sample rate of either 44.1 uh, kilohertz, 88.2 kilohertz, or 96 kilohertz. And it can accept anything with a quarter-inch plug. So you could plug in a microphone if you wanted to. You could plug in another instrument, but this is really meant for the guitar. Uh, this can also be kind of a personal monitor if you have it set up right on stage. Uh, as long as your main sound doesn't come through this, uh, that you should be fine. But you could probably hook this up uh, on stage, point it towards yourself so you have some sound coming back. Uh, or, uh, you know, for a piano or for a guitar, even possibly. So completely turned off, we, let's take a look at this. You have a foreign speaker inside of here. Uh, up on top, you have the dials. Uh, once again, you have your gain dial, your bass, your mid, your treb, and then, of course, the volume button. You have three buttons. These three buttons only work if you do not have any iOS device plugged in. You have your power button right here. You have an auxiliary input and then, of course, a headphone jack so you can hear what you're doing. Over here is the uh, is the USB. It's a micro USB, so you'll have to have, and it comes with a micro USB to Lightning, and I believe one to USB. But you you might have to get one for your device if, especially if it's USB C. Back here you have a single pl uh, two plugs. Basically, this goes to an external speaker or a mixer, like I like I will be doing shortly, and then a DC of uh, nine to fifteen volts. Uh, and of course in the back we can uh, plug in, we've got six batteries, double A batteries. I'm not sure why they just didn't do a nine volt battery, but uh, six double A batteries. I'm using the pl uh, plug to keep it powered on. On the bottom is a screw for uh, the ability to put it onto a stand so you could actually have it kind of to your face so you can hear what's going on. One thing that this is missing is a handle. Uh, it's so small, it's kind of hard. It's too big to pick up with one hand. 
I move this around a lot. And if you're holding onto a guitar, you know, you, you just don't have two hands to sometimes uh, grab onto it. And so I feel that it's best if it had some sort of handle. Uh, you might, it's easy to put a handle onto one of these things, a little strap handle. Uh, but that was the one thing that was, uh, I felt was missing right off the bat. Of course, this device really starts to shine when you do plug it into a uh, bigger amp. So let's say you go to a practice space and you have, and there's an old amp there. You can plug this into that and really push out the sound so people can hear it. Uh, when you actually attach the iPad or the iPhone to it and bring in your own sounds, your pedal board, maybe the iRig stomp, you can really make this sound pretty decent. Uh, not perfect. But, you know, that's, it's, it's a 15-watt amp, then you can, no matter what you do, it's still going to be a 15-watt amp in the end. But it's perfect for uh, schlepping around for a practice or, or having in your car just in case you decide to do some busking or, or something like that. Now let's go on the overhead cam and see how this sounds. Okay, so here we go. We got the cam overhead here. And uh, I've got the iRig. Uh, first of all, we're going to show you. I turned down the gain all the way to nothing. And we're going to go through the three settings without any gain. And then we're going to plug it in the iPad and then bring the gain back in. So cool. just strum. Pretty straightforward on there. We'll uh, give it a little bit more teeth here. And then we'll give it some real teeth. No gain once again. This is directly into the amp through a quarter inch cable into the mixing board. So now we'll go back here. We'll give it we'll give it part gain. We'll go about 50% here and see what happens. I also put a little bit of compression on this channel so it doesn't blow out uh, completely. Let's go a little bit part heavier. All right, now let's give it all. All right, let's go back here. As you can hear on that on that high end, you're gonna get a lot of noise. We're gonna go. We're gonna do total gain. We're gonna turn down the volume just a touch here. So. <laughs> And I'm going to plug this into the iPad to show you some of the different tones that I've got. These three buttons right here will not work, not work at all, because everything is coming through here. Now we'll crunch it up a little bit. on that okay, we'll go back to the to the one i usually use and we'll go right into the uh, pedals as you can see there's my there's my pedals i got a, a acoustic simulator uh the t-rex uh molar decomp and a lim limiter and then of course uh just a standard reverb type amp 
And then let's see, uh, we've got the post effects being a delay, which is turned off right now in the session. Both of those are turned off right now. So we'll just leave those off. As you can hear, we've got a little bit. Uh, <laughs> slap back on that reverb coil that's kind of nice i like that and so you have it from there so you can use your uh, ipad and uh and get some good sounds or just use this uh as it's uh, on its own and just to get some rough you know work out some uh, really rough stuff like that and then of course you can put in the headphones so you can hear it as you go that way you're not uh, bothering anybody as uh, as you're trying to practice. And of course you can hear it from the uh, from the small speaker here. It doesn't have a bad sound to it when it come when it comes to practicing. I'll most likely have headphones in here when I go to practice. Uh, but it's great. It's a great little amplifier to have. I've also plugged it into my keyboards and uh, it's great that I can put it on top of the piano and have something coming back at me. Because sometimes when you're playing, some of the other instrumentalists, vocalists get a little bit louder than what you want to hear. And having something you can even put a set of headphones into to hear what you're doing can help you uh, build uh, better chops. But anyway, have you tried the micro amp? Let me know by tweeting me over at Geekazine, of course, facebook.com forward slash Geekazine. And then uh, of course, youtube.com forward slash Geekazine. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and all that other cool stuff over there. And over on geekazine.com, there is a bell notification to let you know when the next video comes out, because we've got lots of videos coming out, and especially with CES 2020 coming out very soon. We're gonna have a lot of stuff from there. Got a lot of stuff from Nam as well. So I will definitely be checking out IK Multimedia's new products. You can go and check me out at geekazine.com. Until next time, you guys geek out and take care. All right, really quick here. Uh, just so you know, I did just hook it up to a microphone, even though this is not meant for a microphone. I know a few of you are going to be asking about it. Just using a regular dynamic microphone right there. And uh, we're putting in the iRig. As you can see, there's nothing plugged in just yet, but there is a mic room. We'll show you that in a second here. Regular volume. You get a little bit more here and then you can kind of adjust the gain. Let's bring that down a little bit. In fact, I'm going to bring it all down for this last one here so we don't squelch your ears out. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. Now, what's really cool about this is I can, I can turn up the gain. Well, let me show you really quick. And so that's the sports score. Tonight we won 22 to 21. Can you believe it? You got a little bit of a fun effect here. But we can also plug it into and use a program called Microroom, which is part of the IK Multimedia family. Let's do that really quick. Everybody. So here we go. We've got it hooked up here. As you can see, I'm going to turn down the volume, turn up the volume using this. And so you hear that. So we got a regular dynamic microphone. Let's uh, switch it up into a dynamic 20. So this is more of your podcast type microphone right here. Really deeper, uh, deeper sound. We'll go to condenser right here. Let's at the condenser microphone. So this has a little bit more plosives because I'm closer to my uh, microphone because this is a dynamic microphone we're coming from. So as you can see, as you can hear, uh, I, you could definitely use this for something like, uh, you know, if you're doing like little speeches uh, on your front steps or something like that, you could definitely set this up as a vo uh, vocal microphone. You'll need the right cable to do it. And that's basically an XLR to quarter inch cable. But... Uh, if you're down in the basement, and you're just having some fun, maybe some doing some karaoke. This has got a nice uh, old telephone mic sound to it. Uh, you can uh, you can definitely do that. We'll raise up the volume just a little bit and uh, have some fun with it. So that is Microom, which is also part of IK Multimedia, into the iRig, and it sounds pretty good. So I could see this, like I said, not not for a band, but uh, for solo work. If you're if you're just giving a speech or something like that, perfect for a speaker that's doing a presentation uh, in uh, uh, odd places. I don't know. So, And I might even use this for some of my live streams because sometimes they have audiences that's, and that's really nice if I had an amp 
that just uh, showed a little bit of sound, gave a little bit of sound uh, so people could hear the overall sound. So not too bad. And uh, yeah, there we go.